Let's continue talking about modifiers. So I'm going to go to my simple brush here. Let's go ahead and grab a Sphere 3D, drag it on my canvas, go into edit mode, make poly mesh 3D, turn on polyframe here, hold down control shift. So we've already talked about visibility modifiers like the select lasso and select rectangle. And now we're going to talk about clip, slice, and trim. They share a lot of common features. And I was going to skip this until much later videos, so you might hear videos coming up where I'm like, you haven't learned this yet. Well, I've decided after doing that enough times that I need to come back and put these earlier, so we're going to go ahead and talk about them. It's not going to take us too long, and I'm just going to add this into the intro series. So let's start out with clips. So for instance, we have clip curve right here. I'm going to hold down control shift, and we're going to select clip curve. And with clip curve, if you drag this out, it behaves much like the other brushes and if we're if you remember do we talk about this under masking you can hold down control and mask curve you can drag out a mask line you can tap alt and then it'll mask everything past that line you can hold down control and then double tap and then you can make a sharp curve yeah we did talk about that so exact same thing with clip curve hold down control shift you drag out a line you can double tap to make it a sharp transition you can hold hold down space bar to move it around you can hold down shift if you want to constrain it you can let go of shift hold down control still though Hold down, uh, let go of shift to make it smoother, or shift if you want to constrain it to an angle. And then tap alt once to do a bezier type curve. And then when you let go, it's going to basically, every point that was beyond that gradient is going to be forced back to that gradient line. So let's undo that. Let's hold down control shift. We'll make this one a little bit simpler. So control shift, drag out a line, and just go across your object like this and let go. And it's going to take all those points and mush it back just straight back to where that line was. It's not removing any geometry, it's literally, you can see that polarized cap right there, it's just pulling those points directly back. So this is useful if you want to take a, you know, a sphere and kind of just block out a quick shape, or any object really, if you're using this or Dynamesh or whatever, you can very quickly start clipping a shape. And you can also turn on X symmetry here, so if we undo all that, you have X symmetry and clip will work with X symmetry here, so we can go ahead and just make very complex shapes just like this. And it's a super useful brush. And you'll notice right around here we're getting kind of a weird thing where it's like a super thin plane. Let's undo that and let's go to the bottom here. And let's say I want to clip this thing up and I'm like, you know what, I only need this top part here so I'm going to clip that up. It's like, okay, great. And then you look and it's like, well, wait, now I have a paper thin ring. If you go in here and you smooth it, it's going to, you know, just be a bunch of compressed geometry right there. If you try and Dynamesh this, It's going to make a paper thin plane of Dynamesh rings and it's really kind of a pain. It does some really weird stuff in here. And the reason that's happening, if I undo back past where we were, uh, you got to remember, you see how it kind of has a lump on the side where it kind of goes out and then back in. If I just take this line and I force those points straight up, that part that kept going out is just going to go straight up to that line. So it's just going to make a flat plane around that circle. So that's one of the limitations, or it's not really a limitation, it's just that's what the clip brush does. So just be aware that that's the functionality you're going to get. There's a way around that, which we'll get to in a bit. And much like the other modifiers here, the stroke is what's really dictating all of what's happening with this brush. So we're using the clip brush here. If we hold down Control Shift, you're going to see there's a lasso. So now you can like clip lasso, you can clip circle, and then you can clip rectangle. We'll get into that in just a second. But if we put this back to the last one, you hold down control shift, you're going to see we have clip circle, circle center, rectangle already there for you. So those strokes have already been dialed in. You don't need to go through your stroke menu for those. To talk about clip circle, let's go ahead and select that one. Now clip circle and clip rectangle, there's a couple of important things you need to know. Uh, if we hold down space bar, we can move this around. And if you hover over, well, let's go ahead and clip this and notice that little plus sign in the middle. That's actually really important to notice when you're doing this type of operation. So if the cursor or the little plus sign is outside of your mesh, and you hold down control shift and you clip, it'll clip everything to that circle. So if you look to the side here, it just clips straight through here. And again, it still has the same limitations as pulling points this direction. So be aware that you may get some residual geometry kind of hanging out. However, if you hold down control shift and your cross goes over it, it does the exact same thing. There's an alternative to that. If you hold down control shift and then you hold down alt, that'll clip in. However, if you hold down control shift and then you hover over and you hold down alt, it's going to force that out. So when you're just clipping in, it doesn't matter. Or if you're just clipping to the plane, it doesn't matter if the cross goes over or not. It's gonna have the same functionality. However, when you hold down alt and say you wanna like take little chunks out of this thing, if you take chunks out and your cross crosses over and you hold down alt, it's going to force it out. It's kind of a feature. 
and you can use that to kind of do inset screws and stuff later. I just wanted you to be aware of that functionality. If we go over here to clip rectangle, it's the exact same thing. You can hold down Alt and you can clip out. Of course, it is clipping, so it's forcing that geometry in a direction. So I would, I'm honestly going to say clip rectangle is one I probably use the least. Uh, but it has the same functionality. You can hold down Alt if the cross sign goes over the mesh, it'll force it out like so. Uh, but honestly, more than likely, I'm probably going to use clip curve with a curve stroke. Then we can tap Alt twice and then I can just take rectangular chunks out of it. Behaves a little bit more evenly. Now, if I go to the middle here, so I can do, oh, clip circle center. This is just clip circle with a stroke square center applied. So you can pull out from the middle here and make a perfect circle. So you can just clip this back. Now if you're saying, well, can I make a hole through my object? No, it's not gonna make a hole through your object. However, it can clean up holes, and this comes in handy later when we get the shadow box and stuff like that. But for now, what I'm gonna do is go to Geometry, turn on Dynamesh. I'm gonna to go to BI Brush Insert Primitives, hit M. Let's grab that cylinder. I'm gonna pull this out, and then I'm gonna pull it back in to make it thin. And you know what, let's go out of X symmetry. Just tap X and then Q, pull out, pull in. We're gonna force this straight through our object here. I'm going to isolate this, Control shift tap it. I'm going to go to Polygroups, Group as Dynamesh Sub. And then when I Control drag Control drag again, it'll poke a hole right through. So let's say this hole was maybe not optimized or you want to make it bigger or, you know, kind of clean up those edges. You can go to the side here, make it camera based. You can hold down Control shift you can do Clip Circle Center. And then you can hold down Alt, and because that cross isn't crossing the geometry, if I hold down Alt up here, it's going to do that. However, because there's no geometry in the middle here, and I hold down Alt, it'll just clip right through and just clean up those edges. You can control drag to Dynamesh again, and now you have a bigger circle that's cleaner. Same thing for rectangle here. We'll go to Clip Rectangle, drag this out. And if you want this to be a circle or a, a square and center, just go into the stroke options and change that. And now you can hold down Alt and it'll clip a triangle right through. Now you might still have a little bit of residual here, so that's where it probably would have been better just to do an insert mesh cube. Brush insert primitives. Let's grab a cube here. We'll rotate this, position it, we'll scale it out. Again, isolate it. Group is Dynamesh Sub and then that'll just cut through. You don't have to worry about trying to clip that stuff, but just in case you like using clipping and clip rectangle, that's available for you.